Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Toshiko Yamaza from GK University. And the, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Professor Okamura and uh, committee members for giving me to the opportunity to present our research at this symposium. Today, uh, my talk is an uh, analysis of skeletal mass from type 1 reagent receptor mutant. First few slides, I would like to introduction of RIL um, channels. RIL, uh, sorry, <laughs> Lyogen receptors. Lyogen receptor is one of the calcium release channels in uh, endoplasmic reticulum. The other is IP3 receptors. Caffeine is well known uh, activator of Lyogen receptor. Excitation contraction coupling is a well known physical function of skeletal muscles. First, action potential proliferate along the teachable membrane. Second, on teachable depolarization, DHP receptor mechanically activate the lyogen receptor 1, RIL 1, to calcium release from sarcoplasmic reticulum. Third, the subsequent calcium increase in the cytosolic calcium concentration triggers muscle contraction here. Finally, calcium ATPase suck pumped calcium back into the SR. It is well known that RI1 is a key molecule in the excitation contraction coupling. So, Uh, as you know, hyperactivation of RI1 is, is improved. Uh, improved severe skeletal muscle diseases such as medical hyperthermia and mus muscular dystrophy. It, it, there are a lot of work um, RI1 related to medical hyperthermia. That's uh, summarized abnormally increasing in calcium induced calcium release, GI share by RI1 channel. And drugs inhibiting the RI1 channel may be useful for these diseases. Dantrolen is the uh, only approved drug for MH. So there are two calcium release via RI1 in skeletal muscle cells. Depolarization induced calcium release, DICL. D this DICL is physiologically important. And the other is calcium induced calcium release, GICL. Abnormal GICL is uh, related for diseases. This slide shows a structure of our. Uh, fine. Uh, RI1 is a monometric protein including 5,000 amino acids and forms a tetramer, so very few ion channels. And genetically analysis of a, a mutant, it is identified more than 300 different mutants, including all of the regions. And terminal pink, uh, central green, and uh, blue is C terminal region. To analyze a mutant RI1, we used the heterogeneous expression system in hex cells. That tetron system is very easy to control with expression level of RI1 protein. We have characterized functional analysis of mutant RI1s. I show you uh, some examples. Upper panel shows a uh, N terminal region mutant, and center is central region mutant, and this is caffeine to the response curve. This, uh, in, this is wild type. Wild type is uh, those uh, ca caffeine response is Increase those dependent manner. Some mutant here 
and here is low concentration of caffeine to respond, high sensitivity, and some mutant is very decrease of peak size here. So I summarized uh, our mutant is cartoon for cartoons, so increase the CICR activity here, and increase the resting calcium concentration, and opposite, decrease in ER calcium concentration due to leakage from ER calcium store. So ER calcium is excellent quantitative index for the RR activity, especially gain of function. And why these two mutants is very exhibit a strong MH phenotype. Today's my content it consists of two parts. Nobel calcium release from RI1, heat induced calcium release in heterozygous R2509C RI1 mice. I have generated mouse carrying up a CRISPR Cas9 system. You can see uh, because this mutation is exhibit a very strong MH phenotype. Homozygous are lethal in utero. You can see uh, one and two. On the other hand, heterozygous grow normally and are fetal uh, five, seven, and eight. First question is, uh, this heterozygous mouse uh, model for uh, malignant hyperthermia. To test MH pen type, we, made, we exposed the uh, ice pruning and then measured the uh, rectal temperature right here. Uh, this is a wild type. Wild type did not increase the uh, temperature. On the other hand, from heteromice is a uh, increased electric temperature and fulminant MH crisis and whole body contraction. And you can see uh, arching of their backs and extension of their legs. This snapshot is here. Oh, ma max tem maximum temperature is 42 degree. We analyze the three index, maximum temperature and time to death from, uh, time to death from start uh, ice flu run exposure and time to death from 39 degree. You can see a significant increase of rectal uh, temperature in heter mice. And we also carried out six difference there were no sex difference at three index, maximum temperature, time to this, and time to this from 39 degree. However, male mice more sensitive compared with a female mice. Next, we tested therapeutic effect of uh, our inhibitors. Compound one. CPD1 is novel RR inhibitor developed by Dr. Murayama in Jentendo uh, University. Compound 1 or dantrolen is injected by IP. After 10 minutes, start uh, ice flu exposure. This is result slide, uh, figures. No drug is uh, heteromyces, it died. On the uh, other hand, if uh, compound, uh, 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 compound one and dantrolene applied uh, completely broke the uh, increase of rectal temperature. So we think uh, this heteromice can be useful as a new MH model. So answer is yes. Again, we focus on this trace. Uh, you can see uh, above uh, 39 degree, more rate of 
temperature rise is increases. So we analyze uh, from 38 to 39 degree and 39 to 40 degree and 40 to 41 degree. You can, uh, you can see a rate of rise body temperature is increasing. We thought, well, what is the mechanism of our body temperature rise? Is there a correlation of heat and calcium? We studied uh, in vitro experiment using enzymatically isolated FDB single, ma uh, single scatter muscle cells here. And this uh, is a morphology by type and, and heteromask cells. Red shows a margin heavy chain. And green shows a neuromuscular junction. And uh, magenta shows a dark staining. You can see uh, no significant difference in, mor in morphology. However, uh, we measured uh, resting calcium concentration. When, uh, when, when measured resting calcium concentration, so in heteromice, it's significantly increased resting calcium concentration. Also, as full run application, it's increased calcium uh, is here, but does not uh, Y type and reads a uh, RI1 inhibitor. Also, uh, decrease of resting calcium concentration in the presence of a RI1 inhibitor. So, uh, in hetero FDB muscle cells, shows a uh, isolation induced calcium increase in uh, calcium concentrations. Next, we investigated heat in the heat in this calcium dynamics. I want to know, so we use a local heat pass setup system using an IR laser. And this system can be simultaneous measurement of calcium imaging. This panel is, is a, a calcium indicator, CAR 520, and before, before heating, and heating, during heating difference. And heating is 3.5 temperature jump and during uh, five seconds here. White type mice, uh, white, white type cells is, does not change uh, calcium. On the other hand, head cells are uh, big calcium increase in during uh, heating. Uh, sum summarize, when the temperature jump is uh, uh, higher, so a slight increase in white type. So this new um, calcium release mechanism we call a heat in this calcium release. So uh, heat in this, uh, we found a heat in this calcium release, HICR. We, we thought uh, HICR may contribute an additional positive feedback to uh, accelerated thermogenesis in uh, heteromice. Finally, I want, we want to know does ice polar anesthesia increase the muscle cellular temperature? We searched for a method to measure the cellular temperature. We use the ERSAM AC. ERSAM AC develop a, 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 a allies group in Kanazawa uh, University. That uh, ERSAM AC is a small molecule fluorescent dye here and high photostable. And excitation wave length is 500 to 60 nanometer. So we can use it with a calcium indicator for intracellular calcium imaging. And ERSAM is when the uh, cellular temperature is fluorescent intensity is decreased. We investigated a uh, simultaneous measurement of cytolytic calcium concentration and cellular temperature in isolated FD cells. This panel shows a staining for calcium indicator and here some AC. 
there are no difference in morphology. This is a result of slide is a uh, one percent ice flu run exposure during uh, one minute. Upper shows are ca calcium and lower shows are intensive air summary C. Y type did not both signal. On the other hand, heteromastic cell is uh, increase of calcium and cytotoxic calcium concentration and decrease of air summary fluorescent intensity. That means cellular temperature is high. This is summarized. So in increase in cellular temperature is associated with the increase in cytotoxic calcium concentration upon application of ice brown anesthesia. We move on next part. As you can see, uh, in homologous uh, uh, died are uh, before embryonic day 19 with uh, abnormal uh, ab abnormal diet uh, here and and here so we didn't we didn't su succeed uh, primary culture at this stage so we use a more earlier stages embryonic day 17 to 18 the, this is a uh, uh, typical protocol of uh, primary culture. First, myoblast and growing, and then change uh, differentiation medium, and fused uh, multinuclear, myot form, form the multinuclear myotube. This panel shows, uh, you can see a very long myo myocyte, but um, in homo myocyte, no spontaneous contraction were observed. We first thought uh, contraction protein doesn't express, so we checked the uh, expression level of contraction protein by seeing heavy chain, you know, staining and uh, Western blood analysis. All phenotypes express the machine heavy chain, and uh, quantitative is no. No, no, no difference. Next, uh, we, uh, we examined more microstructure of using electron microscopy. Lower panel, you, you can see a lower panel, typical structure of skeletal muscle, A band and I band and Z line. We measured sarcomere length, uh, uh, a distance to uh, distance between Z line to Z line. Normal sarcoma rings reported that around a two micrometer, Y type hetero and homo and homo with inhibitor. So you can see uh, surprisingly uh, in home myocyte if it, it's uh, significantly shorter than in Y type. If uh, present uh, IRI inhibitor uh, in the partially uh, recover uh, sarcoma rings. We next calcium measurement of, so uh, we observed spontaneous calcium transient in wild type and heteromyocyte. On the other hand, uh, home myocyte did not observe calcium, spontaneous calcium transient. This result consists with a spontaneous calcium concentration. And further, we measure the resting calcium concentration by type hetero and homo. Resting calcium concentration was significantly increased in home myocyte compared in Y type. Middle shows uh, the analyzed uh, differentiation day. So you can see uh, in home my site, resting calcium concentration in differentiation day dependent manner. As the same result is it, uh, ROI expression level. Next, we uh, ex examined uh, DI share activity and CI share activity. 
So you can see uh, in home myocyte is increase of DI shear and CI shear activity. And, uh, sorry, <laughs> increase of CI shear, uh, DI shear and CI shear activity. And the decrease of peak response in maximum concentration of potassium chloride and caffeine. These results uh, suggested that possibility due to calcium depletion in the store. Finally, we investigate the HICR activity, wild type, hetero, and on my side. Temperature jump is uh, 10 degree uh, during uh, five seconds. Wild type did not change. And hetero my side, it shows a larger heat in this calcium release than wild type. In home myocyte, decrease calcium transient during the heating. I'd like to summarize the main finding. So we found a novel cellular heat sensing mechanism, HICR, may accelerate the thermogenesis during the image episode here. HICR is calcium release, some genesis, temperature increase, positive feedback loop. Finally, uh, this study was uh, carried out to many collaborators. I gratefully thank you all collaborators. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. I want to uh, uh, cellular and molecular analysis of real uh, receptor uh, comment. Yeah, Dr. Kubo. Uh, uh, thank you uh, for beautiful presentation. Uh, you beautifully showed the heat-induced calcium release in the Rani receptor mutant, mm -hmm. and uh, also you showed in the Rani receptor mutant. Mm -hmm. Upon isoflurane application, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. skeletal muscle temperature uh, increases yeah, yes. and uh, also induces calcium release. Uh, and yes. uh, I'm curious to know what the very, very first step mm -hmm. of the uh, temperature increase upon isoflurane application in the mutant mice. Thank you very much. Very important point. Uh, we would, would like to know which is fast, <laughs> but um, this system did not uh, define uh, which is f fast. So we, we tried, we figured out that uh, another system for um, in vivo calcium imaging. So application is ju just a ga gas application for ice cream and then um, in and then measure the electrical temperature and the simultaneous calcium imaging or temperature imaging. So we, we figure out uh, that question is solute, I think so. Question, please. Yeah, Dr. Tominawa, please. Thank you very much for a wonderful talk. And I have a couple of questions. One is uh, the homo mice mm -hmm. were lethal, embolon lethal, mm -hmm. and you observed a lot of subcutaneous hemorrhage. Mm -hmm. Is that a cause of death? What is the cause of death? Uh, uh, I'm not sure about this. Some, some another uh, mutant mouse reported that uh, uh, RI1 literally expressed uh, cardio, uh, sorry, uh, blood vessel cells. So they end them uh, less. Um, uh, more sensitive for uh, calcium release, and then more uh, sub uh, subcutaneous so bleeding. Okay. Uh, so one a quick more uh -huh. one more quick question is in the heterozygous mice, uh -huh. it's more sensitive to the gas, right? It's a fruitant uh -huh. in male mice uh, yeah. than in the female mice. Yeah, yeah. What is the mechanism for that? Thank you very much. I want to know, but. Uh, uh, but another uh, MH mouse is uh, almost, uh, th these results are almost consistent, uh, our results, so more sensitive for male mouse. One possibility is male, male is more mass. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. Thank you. Yeah. 
Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Yamazawa. Uh, let's move on to the next question. Thank you very much.